You cannot claim to be a Christian nation and follow the leader that we presently have in the White House. Right. There's no way. You can either be a Christian or a racist. And the Pope said many years ago, you can either be a Christian or a racist. You can't be both. Mm. If you're a Christian, you're going to have to give up your racism. If you're a racist, you have to give up your Christianity. I know people who will give up their Christianity before they give up their racism. Sure. Because they know, by living in this country, they know that racism is stronger than Christianity. Right. And if it isn't, then you have to explain to me why we still have these ugly things happening to people of color. Right. Deporting individuals, doing it. And then with these recent shootings, would you say that that the shootings are a direct correlation? Of course the shootings are a direct correlation to leadership. That is a direct direct result of teaching people to hate. That's an excellent point. I wanted to bring something up to you too, so I'm not sure if you're aware. There was a video that took place back in May with President Trump where he was talking about what we're going to do uh, with a, a, a legal immigrant. And what ended up transpiring was more or less is he was asking these questions at a rally, and then ultimately somebody in the crowd yelled, we should, should shoot him. You see this? Yes. yes. And, and he then, said, not they even do that, and they only do that in the letter of Texas. He didn't say, absolutely not, and you're shooting off your mouth. Right, that's my point. That's what he should have said, instead of saying, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, and making a joke. You've seen that. It's, of course they play it over and over and over. And I keep hoping that they're playing it to show how ignorant this man is. I have a feeling they're playing it to keep the situation alive. Because mm. if your president finds that amusing, and if he agrees with that member of the audience that says that, then why not do it? And exactly. if he refuses to take these guns away from these folks or see, see to it that people who are, who are believers in what he's saying, we need to take their guns out of their hands or see to it that they don't get more guns. Or right. perhaps what we need to do is stop making bullets. Right. Make all the guns you want, just don't make bullets. Yep. Now, in the past, you, you mentioned that, and you know, I'm not going to say you know, the term white people or because we're all, as you brilliantly said, you know, of the same uh, race. But would you say that growing up in this society, just for the sake of conversation, I'll use white people are indoctrinated to being racist? Well, of course we are. That's what our education is about. Mm. It's about maintaining the status quo. It's about celebrating what we have done. And think of the things we have celebrated. Invading this land, mm -hmm. killing the people who owned it. Christopher Columbus. It. Yeah, yeah. Columbus didn't discover America. Thor Heyerdahl said you can't discover a place where people are living. They all really discovered it before you got there. Right. He didn't discover this land. And furthermore, the Native Americans, that what we call Native Americans, the people, as they call themselves, on this land, came from Africa just like all the rest of us did. Brilliant point. Not brilliant. Common sense. Sure. <laughs> you know, and if sure. y'all if if want to find out where, whether I'm wrong about that, all you have to do is go and get your DNA data. Sure. And you'll find out that every person watching this, some of your DNA comes from a country in Africa. Yeah. Because all white folks are is black folks who faded as they moved farther and farther from all that sunlight. Can you elaborate more on that, Ms. Elliot? What? Can you elaborate more on that? Well, they obviously started in sub-Saharan. And if you don't believe me, and you won't. Well, I, mean, people, I believe but you. you are, but you're, I'm not doing this for you. Sure. We're doing this for somebody else who might watch it and yep. say, maybe she has a point here. Get the April 2018 issue of the National Geographic magazine. Mm. And it will show you the map that shows how those people, those black people, moved from Africa, from sub-Saharan Africa, and populated every landmass on the face of the earth. But as they moved farther and from their from Africa, farther and farther north, their bodies produced less and less melanin because they were subjected to less and less sunlight. Right. So their hair, their skin, and their eyes got lighter. That's the reason we have fair pale faces like me. It's <laughs> because our ancestors moved away from the equator. However, as your skin got lighter, your brain didn't get smaller. Right. And you need to realize that those black people, without benefit of any technology, managed to populate every landmass on the face of the earth. They and their descendants. 
So now do you want to talk to me about how ignorant black people are <laughs> and how we have the right to enslave them right. and to use them and to put them in prison and to treat them by, badly because we have learned. And this, you, only, you need to know that this idea of four or five different races has only been around for about 500 years. Right. It started with the Spanish Inquisition. Previous to that, people were just people of different colors. They weren't people of different races. And then along came Torquemada and the Spanish, the Spanish Inquisition. And they were killing Jews. They found out after they killed several thousand that many of the people they killed were Christians. Mm -hmm. So then they decided they'd have to find another way to decide who to kill. Right. And they set upon skin color. Mm -hmm. It is that recent and it is that ignorant and it is that fragile. If you realize what's going to happen in this country in the next 30 years, within 30 years, white people will have become a numerical minority in the United States of America.